Hi everyone, welcome to another quick tutorial with me, Michael Turney. Today I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way how to get that film look in your footage. So today we'll be using LUTs and what a LUT is, is it stands for lookup table and it's a mathematical formula that pre-calculates a set of values that you can apply to your footage. Um, I highly recommend the Coloristos podcast on episode, was it, episode 16 here called What the LUT. So this is an hour long podcast that explains it exactly in depth what a LUT is. I'm going to be using this package today. Um, I'm not sponsored by these or anything like that. I just believe you kind of get what you pay for in the industry. So there's lots of free LUTs that you can use, um, which I'll link to below uh, here. 29 free LUTs, 35. Uh, there's another website here and some more cinematic LUTs for free. If you want to use even just try the free demo here for the boost one, you can do that. But I just bought this, it's about £35, um, $50. Right, let's jump into After Effects. First, go Control and I, import your footage. And put this in the new comp. And then we'll go to the Effects and Presets tab over here and type in LUT and apply color alert. So if we go control, alt and Y, this will create a new adjustment layer and then we'll apply the color alert to the adjustment layer on top. And here's the package that I bought earlier and I'll select the limelight. And what I'll do, I'll just move the adjustment layer over this half here so you can see what's going on on the right. And then we'll type in levels make it slightly darker, the mid-tones and the shadows a bit darker as well. And then search for hue and saturation. We'll bring that up by 10 as well. And we'll just adjust the levels a little bit more. Maybe bring the whites down a little bit as well. Also, if you press Ctrl and Y, and then we'll go and get a black solid on top. Copy and paste that, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And then we'll scale. If you press S, unlock it. And then scale this down a little bit, maybe to 70. And then we'll toggle the mode here and change the mask to Alpha mask inverted. And there we are, you kind of get the letterbox effect as well. So before, after. And there we have it, the quickest and easiest way how to get that film look in After Effects. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and feel free to follow me on Instagram at tierney.tv. Thanks for watching.